The Jitex Global 20 Thank You Vibe. Seller, uh, nice having you with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let's start about uh, with uh, Tenable redefining cybersecurity uh, through your uh, exposure management mission. So exposure management is really um, a new way to approach cybersecurity. Um, you know, we have to re reset our mind mindset. You know, since 15 years, we were focusing in the entire industry, we we're focusing on detection, detection. If we do prevention, and understand the whole attack surface from an exposure standpoint, reducing the risk, that is exposure management. Bringing all of the exposures, vulnerability, misconfiguration, identity, which are today isolated in different technologies into one platform and leading the exposures and reducing the risk, you know, from uh, reducing, you know, the, the attack surface from an exposure standpoint. Okay. Um, uh, how does your expanded uh, platform help uh, secure enterprise AI uh, environments? This is a very key question. Thank you. Um, AI is everywhere today. We are using AI daily. The first use case organizations are after is blind spot. Shadow AI. You know, their employees are using technologies where AI is embedded. They need to understand which kind of AI technologies are there in their infrastructure. That is shadow AI. We are covering that use case. The second part is the usage of AI. You know, one of the main attack, which is a top one on the top 10 kind of attacks is prompt injections. The capacity that attackers can change your prompt. We have also capacity there, and that is called AI exposure. Something we have announced this summer uh, we've done an acquisition of a company that gives us that capacity today. And the third is AI projects that companies are running. Everyone wants to have an AI project. 89% okay. of companies are running AI projects, okay. 55 in production, but a third of them has been already breached. Okay. Understanding the vulnerabilities, the misconfiguration, and mainly identity misconfiguration and overprivilege on AI projects okay. run internally most of the time in cloud infrastructures is a key element we can address with exposure management. Okay. And uh, what what sort of impact does Tenable's AI uh, powered vulnerability uh, prioritization uh, bring to uh, you know, risk reduction? So we also use AI at Tenable. We didn't okay. wait Gen AI. Hmm. We were already using machine learning and deep learning to help in prioritization with our VPR technology, okay. vulnerability prioritization rating, which is using AI. Okay. But we then introduced Gen AI to help analysts understanding the attack path. Sometimes attack paths can be quite complex to understand, combining again IT, OT, cloud, and AI, part of the attack surface. Okay. Because we are gathering into the platform all of those exposure data, we need to help analysts to go quicker understanding complex exposures. We call that toxic combinations sometimes. Okay. So AI has been introduced, Gen AI, to help them. Okay, okay. And um, in terms of OT security, uh, what sort of challenges do you see in uh, critical infrastructure? We talked about uh, IT and OT conversions for why thanks a lot for the questions because it's a key question today, specifically in this region. We also need see now IoT okay. coming in. We also see IoT connected to the cloud. So IT, OT, IoT, and cloud together is where the new challenge he, is today for critical infrastructures or you know industrial companies. Exposure management also help being able to bring OT within the scope of understanding of exposures. And that is a very key element here for this region. Okay, okay. And uh, what sort of cybersecurity trends have you seen 
uh, you know, in the market and how is it changing the landscape overall? The first trend we've seen is the fact that the attack surface is fragmented. Uh, for the past two years, with okay. AI coming in, we see that the attack surface is not only growing, but is fragmented everywhere. Okay. So this is a very important challenge for, uh, you know, uh, security, cybersecurity specialists, because they need to understand those weaknesses everywhere. Okay. So that is a first trend. The fact that uh, the uh, attack surface is fragmented. The second trend is the use of AI. I think we are just at the beginning of the use of AI by attackers. Okay. We've seen that. We've seen attacks, you know, uh, you know, attackers using AI for developing their malware. We've seen atta attackers using AI for developing phishing attack and social engineering. Okay. But they could also go quicker and using, um, you know, uh, agent AI starting to automate the other attacks. We've seen so far a couple of attacks using agents as okay. well. Okay. And automation. So we, we see that trends going ahead. And I think we are just at the beginning of the curve of AI adoption within the cybersecurity space as well. Okay. And today's uh, third day of Jitex. Uh, what, what sort of feedback have you received uh, with, with, with clients or partners that you've uh, you know, talked to? So Jitex is one of the biggest high tech uh, events in the industry. You know, uh, I think it's the biggest in this region and could be one of the top two or three in the world. So I think we see cybersecurity taking a very important space, uh, you know, uh, in, in Jitex. A couple of years ago, uh, cyber was a, a, a small part of it, and that is growing. Why? Because I think uh, the threats are growing, and I think the entire high tech industry uh, is really aware about cyber is a key element of part of it. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. It was nice uh, having you with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. And see you soon.